The grave digger is turning to the public for help. Surveillance video showing a thief making off with his backhoe, but not before the victim raced to try and stop him from getting away with his livelihood. Now, this morning, we're learning why that grave digger believes the suspect was scoping out his business before this all went down. Fox, Fox 13 News reporter Alejandro Guzman spoke with the victim who fears the suspect might be targeting other nearby businesses as well. I dig graves and. <laughs> Bury people. Dale Courtlever has been helping families on their toughest days for 19 years now, laying their loved ones to rest. A passion nearly cut short by this brazen man. Dale was home, but just before bedtime around 10 p.m., he heard his surveillance cameras go off. On his screen, he saw this. A uh, truck hooking onto the trailer. Dale called 911, but the adrenaline set in. I better get up there because I need that back. Oh, <laughs> that's my. My living. Surveillance video show the man took the time to get out of his truck, move the dumpster out of his way, not realizing he was being recorded before finally trying to make off with a backhoe. The thief caught off guard by Dale, who sped up the driveway trying to block him in. And he was coming around the corner with the trailer hooked up to his truck, and he took out these rough boxes. And he came through, and I think this is where he blew the tire out on the trailer. He sideswiped my truck. The thief got away. Arlington police showed up a few minutes later, but just two blocks down, they found this. A busted chain link fence and the backhoe abandoned on its side in a ditch. You might be hurting for money, and there's a lot of people that are, but you don't have to steal. Dale says this thief caused at least $30,000 in damages and fear he's done it before. He's been planning this. About a week before we came, came to work and the key was missing out of the backhoe. While cameras didn't catch the act, he says the same truck, a white lifted Ford pickup with black rims and sideboards, was in their parking lot. He's now hoping you recognize a man who hurt a local business and damaged the last link he had to his wife. It was the last truck we got to buy together. She passed. But it's fixable, you know. At least nobody got killed. Dale is looking on the bright side, urging businesses and homeowners to lock up their belongings as he waits for justice. Treat people the way you want to be treated. Be a better world. <laughs> Alejandra Guzman, Fox 13 News.